Hey guys, this is Christian with reviews on this and that dot com. Um, today I'll be showing you how to replace your hard drive safely and uh, you know possibly you know upgrade your hard drive. Maybe you want to go from a 160 gigabyte hard drive to a 200 gig hard drive or to a 500 gigabyte hard drive or to maybe even a 1 terabyte uh, gigabyte hard drive as I've done on my own personal laptop. So I'll be showing you today how to do that safely and easily. Um, a quick uh, two safety tips for you real quick before we go ahead and get started t today. Um, you always want to unplug your power cord on any computer, any laptop or desktop before you start messing and replacing with any internal parts, whether it's memory, hard drives, batteries, uh, CMOS batteries, really any internal part. That's very important. What I like to do is unplug the power cord and any mice or any peripherals, any printers, scanners and whatnot. It's just much easier that way. That way they're out of your way and you are working safely and comfortably at the same time. So what we have here today, this is a black Dell Inspiron 15 model 3531. Uh, this is what I'm going to demonstrate on. So let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do, you want to turn your laptop upside down and you see these two locking tabs that hold down the battery there's one right here on the right one on the left you want to make sure these are facing towards the um, unlocking side and then you want to lay down your laptop you want to grab a flathead screwdriver whether it's a big or a small one this type of battery will not be will not be moving some of them slide out towards the back this type of battery actually comes pops out so you want to apply pressure right down here right over here there's like an extra notch part of the battery you want to apply pressure on the battery and you want to lift up then you can hear it snap out that's very important to do so you want to get the battery out of the way and then let's go ahead and turn the battery around oh, excuse me let's go ahead and turn the laptop around and then you want to grab a small uh, Phillips screwdriver and then you will see this is the cover this, this entire cover right here from right to left this is what covers your memory and your hard drive and you will see two screws one here and one here you want to go ahead and unscrew these unscrew these guys you want to loosen this one up and unloosen this one as well okay make sure this one is pretty loose and then you want to grab your flat hat screwdriver you want to place this under this piece of plastic cover right here like towards the middle it's probably much easier if you have some nails I don't have long nails you want to apply just enough pressure where you can put your fingers underneath and pop this guy out so you want, you want to put that on the side what you will see here this is your hard drive this is your memory module and then of course I'm showing you today how to replace your hard drive you want to grab your the same screw the same Phillips screwdriver that we just used to pop out the cover you will see two screws you will see one here and one here they are black you want to unscrew these you want to unscrew these guys want to get them out of your way you, you, you don't want to lose these screws believe me okay I'm going to take this guy out Oops. have another screwdriver my screwdrivers are magnetic but I've been using them so much that they wear out what you can always do is grab a uh, any any regular mag uh, magnet to remagnetize them okay this one is not willing to comply if you know what I mean I know I screwed this guy There we go. You want to get that guy out of the way. And now, this hard drive is a little different than other models on other laptops when it comes to replacing it. You want to push back. You want to. You want to put some even pressure on the hard drive itself. You want to push that way to your left. And then you will see how it slides back about a quarter inch. And then you will see this this piece of clear plastic right here. 
think you, you guys can see this in the camera. This piece of plastic is actually attached to the bottom of the hard drive itself. So you can grab this piece of plastic and drag the, lap, the hard drive out. Now you can actually have a, a decent grip on it. And you want to slide to your right. And this is how you pop out your hard drive. Okay. And now this is a, uh, a 200 gig hard drive in here. And then once you have the new one handy, we're going to put in a 500 gig hard drive. You want to make sure the left side goes in first. You want to put this side in here first. You just push it down with even pressure. And then you push to your left. And then you push to your right. Because the SATA interface, this is the interface that this hard drive has. It's called a SATA interface. You want to slide to your right until it snaps in all the way. Uh, of course, you want to put these two small uh, screws back in so they hold the drive, hard drive in place. You want to put that one back in. Then you want to put in the other screw. Now remember, you do need to know every time you replace a hard drive on any desktop or any laptop, regardless of the make and model, you will need to reinstall Windows. So this is assuming that you either have a uh, a, a recovery, an, an original recovery disk from your manufacturer, which some models they come with the laptop or computer that you bought in the box. Sometimes you have to call Dell or Toshiba or HP or uh, A-Machines or Acer, whoever the manufacturer of your laptop is, and tell them, hey, I want a copy of my, I want, I want the original recovery disk. Uh, for my such and such, you know, Dell, you know, Inspiron 15, model 3531, for example, for, for this type of laptop, and they will be more than happy to send it to you for a small fee. So, because, like I said, every time you replace the hard drive on any laptop and, or, or any PC, you will have to reinstall the operating system and all your other programs, unless you plan to clone your hard drive, which is something a little bit more of an advanced user, if you would, with all due respect. So, uh, but that's up to you guys. But I'm just showing you how to replace your hard drive today, okay? So you want to make sure these two screws are snug. Just want to make sure they're in there tight. Let's see. Okay, that's in there good. That's in there good. Now you want to get your hard drive cover. Now the way this snaps back in, you see these two extra pieces right here? These go in first to your left and then the bottom piece needs to snap in second and then you just push down. See how that snaps back in place? You want to tighten these guys, these screws up. You don't want to over tighten them, it's not a good idea. You just want to, you know, make them hand snug. As you're tightening these, you want to you want to push down. See how this this part right here needs to be needs to snap in at the same time. Then you want to tighten this guy up. You want to tighten the second screw back up with your Phillips screwdriver. Hang in there, guys. We're almost done. Don't have a stroke on me now. And then you want to grab your battery. And the way this battery snaps back in is the front of the battery first in. Okay. So this goes in first on this side and then you push it down see how that snaps back in and we are all set guys we just replaced the hard drive on a Dell 15 Dell Inspiron 15 model 3531 and if you guys enjoy my videos please go ahead like and subscribe I would appreciate that very much have a great day